Hey, welcome to High Off Blue Hour, and we are going to take a look at doing 3D text in DaVinci Resolve within Fusion. So let's take a Fusion composition and drag it into our timeline. And we're going to stretch it out to around 11 seconds or so. And we're going to highlight it and go into Fusion. And so here in Fusion, we've got our media out node. We're going to pull this all the way to the right. And then we're going to bring in a few more nodes. We're going to bring in a renderer 3D node. Then we're going to bring in a merge 3D node. And we're going to actually bring in a camera 3D node. And we're going to connect some of these. We want our renderer 3D going into media out. Merge 3D going into renderer 3D. And camera 3D going into merge 3D. So then what we want to do is we want to pull in a text 3D node and we're going to link that to the merge 3D and so what we do want to do now is we want to click on the merge 3D node and then these two circles here kind of at the bottom of the merge 3D node the one on the left side if you hover over it it says left view we want to click that circle so then then that will be visible in the left side viewer up here so we'll be able to see our kind of 3d plane or our, our workspace uh, for that particular merge node and then you want to click the renderer 3d node but instead go down and click the right view circle so the circle on the right side at the bottom of the render 3d node hover over it it'll say right view click that so then whatever we end up doing that goes through this renderer 3d node it will show up in this right view area over here and so then what we'll do let's highlight our text and in, over in the inspector tab where it says text we can just type in whatever it is that we want in this case we're just going to literally put in text uh, we'll go ahead and just change the color to let's just go with this kind of gray color whatever click OK and then we're gonna go over here to this camera node our viewer here on the left side up here where it says hundred percent we're gonna take this down to 50% so we're basically gonna zoom out some so that we can see a lot more of this workspace this 3d workspace so 50% now we're more zoomed out so then with our camera still highlighted we're going to grab our camera as it appears in this 3d workspace here this blue arrow on the back when you grab that blue arrow you can either push the camera forward or pull it back and then you hover over the blue arrow when it turns white that indicates that you can then grab that arrow and then proceed to manipulate the camera so we're going to hover over the blue arrow and pull the camera back and as we pull the camera back on the left side, on the right side, you can actually see the text coming more into frame because the camera's moving further back. What I'm gonna actually also do is, on the left side viewer here, I'm gonna grab this green arrow, which is at the top of the camera, and we're gonna pull the camera up. So pulling the camera up visually makes the text lower a little bit more, so it's kind of more in the frame. And then I'm gonna go back and highlight text again because I'm actually gonna change the color to something that's way too dark, that gray. So let's just go with this just orange color, basically. All right, so then with our text highlighted, we're then gonna go down here to, in the inspector tab, we're gonna go down here to where it says extrusion. I'm gonna click that drop down arrow and where it says extrusion depth, we're gonna bump this up. Because you can't really tell right now, but bumping up the extrusion depth basically brings out the 3d look of our letters it takes the letters from being having a 2d presence to them to having a 3d presence which we're going to see in a, in a moment here let's go to our renderer 3d click it and then go over into inspector and down here where it says lighting we want to check both boxes where it says enable lighting check that and then shadows check that that's just kind of basically enabling the functionality of the presence of light and shadow in our 3d uh, composition that we're doing here 
So with that in mind, now we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a directional light. So let's just kind of click anywhere in this open space here and hit shift space bar. I already have directional light selected because I've been messing around with it, but you would have to kind of, you might would have to start typing in directional light and then the option would pop up. But once it does, you select it and click add. And then you want your directional light. You want that node to go into your camera 3D node like so. And so you kind of see in the right side viewer how the, the, the kind of the text became kind of illuminated. And then what you do, if you look on this left side viewer with directional light selected, the, the directional light is basically sitting like right on top of our camera. So we're gonna grab the blue arrow on our directional light and pull the light back some. I mean, you could really kind of take it wherever you want, but I like to pull the light back some so it's a little bit kind of positionally, it's a little bit more separated from the camera. Whether that's the best option to do or not, you know, remains to be seen, but it's worked for me. So got the light pulled back and then you go over here into the inspector for the directional light and you can change the color of the light and whatnot. I'm actually gonna just keep it that same kind of white color there. And then you obviously can manipulate shadows if you feel the need to. We're gonna go over here into transform and this is going to kind of show the movement of the directional light if you want to manipulate that. So let's go down here to rotation and on the Y axis, you start to manipulate the Y axis. First on the left side, you can see our light turning. Like you can see the physical kind of representation for the light turning. And then on the right side, you can see the camera view of what the text looks like as the light moves across it. So if you kind of take the time to look at both sides so you can kind of see see what I'm talking about here this is all happening simultaneously but you kind of just you know as you play around with it you get the idea for what could be possible so what you can do is you can keyframe the movement of your directional light so if you want to have your again all of these uh, variables that have keyframe diamonds next to them all of these keyframe diamonds indicate that that particular variable can be animated basically so you kind of want to keep that in mind and so you can really do some things, interesting things with moving the light around. Let's highlight our text 3D. Because I, I said I wanted to point out the, the 3D nature of the text. And one way to do that, we've got our extrusion depth bumped up. But to drive home the visual look of that, we want to go up here to transform for the text 3D. Then go down to this same Y axis on the rotation just because it's the most kind of the most obvious one whenever you rotate something on the Y axis, you, it turns. So you have no choice but to see where the shadows are and whatnot. But you clearly obviously see the 3D nature of our text when you rotate you know, the Y axis the same way if you flipped the X axis, you would see that kind of 3D nature. You see the extrusion depth and all of that. And again, all of this can be keyframed and animated. I'm gonna do a really quick, this I think this was like an 11 second fusion clip. So what we'll do, let's do a really quick kind of uh, just keyframe animation. So what we'll do, let's get our text 3D highlighted. And let's just say we wanted a simple animation where, I'm gonna do a simple animation where the text is just gonna raise up and rotate as it's raising up and the directional light is going to pan across our text as it's doing this movement. So something very simple, this isn't gonna be, you know, once again, we're not winning Oscars, just kind of showing functionality. So let's keyframe this here. So All right, so this is going to be very rough. I don't know how smooth this will or will not be. I'm just kind of very janky. So let's press play on this. Let's see how long, if there's a lot of lag. It is obviously lagging, but you see what's going on here. Boom. 
So that actually went a lot smoother than maybe I was expecting it to be with me kind of doing it just kind of spur of the moment. But so you get the idea, though, just very simple rotation of 3D text along with the movement of directional light. You get a nice dramatic effect. And obviously you can really make things a lot more slicker than I did, you know, more better text, better color, better colors and uh, fonts, uh, you know, light positioning, all these different things, backgrounds, whatever you want to do. But that is a very simplified kind of look at putting 3D text, creating 3D text in Fusion. But maybe you know a better way, maybe you know a more efficient way. Uh, but this is a way to create 3D text and further animate it. I did very rough animation, nothing that was just very impressive, but you get the idea of what you can do. So that is 3D text within uh, DaVinci Resolve in the Fusion tab. Obviously, there's a lot more in-depth things you can you can do in terms of customization and all of those, but this was the very bare bones basics of just getting 3D looking text with some dynamic light, some directional light that's, that's moving around along with text uh, that is animated and moving around as well. So that is the video, you guys. Hopefully it helped you out and uh, catch you on the next one.